Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Swiss. Uh, another college football week starting. We're into week six already. Got some Tuesday night football. Uh, just had my first losing week of the year for college football last weekend. Lost like 3.6 units. Got hit pretty hard on Saturday. Well, shaking it off. We're still off to a good start. Let's stay positive. Uh, we got Jacksonville State at Middle Tennessee here. Lines at Middle Tennessee minus three and a half at home. It was at four and a half. Dropped a point. Total sitting at 52. Let's roll. Welcome to The Swiss. get the source so like i said this line was at mtsu minus four and a half early in the week but it's down to three and a half the reason for that is everyone's betting jacksonville state here huge public dog as of right now it doesn't look like they're going to give us mtsu at an even three we'll have to keep an eye on this one closer to kickoff well let's start off with these ugly defensive metrics here from middle tennessee uh definitely off to an extremely disappointing start considering this team brought back an estimated 86 percent of its production from the defense last year they definitely had higher hopes than this they're currently ranked 118th overall, 116th in effective rush, and 117th in effective pass. Safe to say the uh, Blue Raiders defense is struggling a bit, but I'm not willing to declare this Middle Tennessee defense a failure yet. I mean, can we look at their schedule? They open up the season with back-to-back -back road games against SEC teams. By the way, they almost beat Missouri. Uh, the final score was 23-19, I think it was. And Missouri is currently ranked in the top 25. They're undefeated. And this supposedly terrible Middle Tennessee defense held Missouri to just 319 total yards and 23 points on their home field. By the way, that Missouri offense ripped Kansas State's defense to shreds. I think people are just looking at that Colorado State game and thinking that's a terrible defensive performance for Middle Tennessee. Uh, but Colorado State has had an inexplicably explosive passing offense this year. Ever since Fowler Nicolosi took over at quarterback, that offense puts points on the board. They're averaging 32 points per game on the season. We saw what they did to Coach Prime and the Buffs. Colorado State can score, and they gave up 31 points on the road in Western Kentucky. I guess when you glance at that, it looks bad, but if you're familiar with Western Kentucky, that's not that bad. Austin Reed threw for 4,700 yards last year. He led the FBS. Western Kentucky is the number 18 ranked passing attack in the entire country. 31 points on the road at Western Kentucky is not a defensive meltdown. I still have faith in this Middle Tennessee defense, and I think they could be effective, especially against programs that are reliant on the run game. See the Missouri game for reference. Want to know who has an insanely run-dependent offense? Jacksonville State. Jacksonville State is ranked 60th in effective rush, so they can run the ball, but they're 130th in effective pass. This is a run first program all the way here. In fact, Jacksonville State has run the ball in 62.77% of their offensive snaps this year. That's the ninth most in the FBS. This looks like a great matchup for the Middle Tennessee defense. Now, Middle Tennessee's offense is the exact opposite of Jacksonville State's offense. They throw the ball a lot. Uh, they drop back to pass on 57.14% of their offensive snaps this season. That's the 18th most in the FBS. BS. This Middle Tennessee offense runs through Vadiato. Now, his numbers on the season aren't amazing. Just 233 yards per game, seven touchdowns, four picks, 128.3 passer rating. But keep in mind, he's got two road SEC games in there. And I'm not talking about Vanderbilt. One was on the road in Alabama. The other one was on the road in Missouri. Two great defenses. Actually, Alabama has the number one ranked pass defense in the entire country. Not to mention it was week one, the first week of the season. If you just look at Vadiato's numbers from the four games, since the Alabama game from week two on, they look a lot better. Over 260 yards per game, 135.7 passer rating. Still not elite, but this kid can throw it. This is 100% a passing offense. So my next question would be, how is Jacksonville State's defense at defending the pass? Statistically, they've been very good. 47th in the FBS in yards per attempt allowed, 31st in average passer rating allowed, but they're all the way back at 103rd in effective pass. How is that possible? Simple, because they've only played one passing offense this entire season, and guess which game it was? Week 2 at Coastal Carolina, and Grayson McCall had an insanely efficient day throwing the ball on this Jacksonville State defense. That's the only time Jacksonville State has seen a passing attack this entire season, on the road in Coastal Carolina, and also it was on the road. Uh, they've played two road games so far this year. The other one was on the road at Sam Houston last week. And look what Keegan Shoemaker did. He threw for 285 yards and two touchdowns on Jacksonville State. In his other two starts this year, he's averaging 95.9 pass yards per game. And he threw for 285 on Jacksonville State. So here they are again on the road at Middle Tennessee against a passing offense. Their secondary has gotten cooked both times they went on the road so far this year. 
I like the matchup for Middle Tennessee's offense in this one. And as I mentioned, I like the matchup for Middle Tennessee's defense as well because Jacksonville State's so reliant on the run. So as you probably guessed from my notes, I'm on the Blue Raiders in this one. I was actually down to play it at four and a half. So I'm definitely down to play it at three and a half. I'm actually going to wait it out. If I can get MTSU minus three even, I'll hit it pretty hard. So definitely on the Blue Raiders. Give me uh, Middle Tennessee minus three and a half, hoping for three. If you want my top bets, parlays of the day, uh, if you want to join our Discord or you want to get in the NFL against the spread giveaway competition head over to kylecrims.com all the information's right there on the website college football week six tuesday football is here so i believe we have football 45 in the next 46 days or something crazy uh time to strap on our gambling shoes remember to bet responsibly and i'll talk to you in the discord